Welcome back to the channel, Fat Boys. So today we're going to be talking about how to pick the right line while riding a motorcycle. So for all my new riders out there, welcome. I'm glad you decided to pick the two wheel line. Make sure you go ahead and keep on watching this learn how to ride playlist so that way you can get all the information you need to. There are really two factors in making sure you're able to pick the right line. You want to make sure you have line of sight. If you cannot see, you are not going to be able to pick any correct line. If I was, let's actually follow this car here. So following this car, if I was heading, I'm heading this way, I'm right behind him. I'm in what is considered the second lane. And so I can't see past him. So if I move over to this lane, I can see plenty far ahead now. I can see that there's a light. I can see that there's another car right in front of him. And I can decide where I need to go. And now I also present myself to other cars over there on the left hand side if they decide to make a turn. And so that's the second part presentation for yourself. You want to make sure that you are able to present yourself as best as you possibly can to other vehicles. So as long as you have a good line of sight and you are per able to present yourself, you are picking the best line possible. So I'm coming up to a turn. I do not want to be hugging this corner because if any cars are right there on the edge, they can't see me and I want to take this turn. So I want to be over as far as I can so I can see all the way through it and cars that are there are able to see me coming up to it. It's all of these things. You want to be able to see through all your corners and see as far as possible. And you want to be seen as far as possible. And other things that are going to go into these decisions is road debris and road surface conditions. So if your road is in a very bad condition, you want to be able to pick the smoothest route for you as possible, generally speaking, because you do not want to be in a really crappy situation where even though you can see really far, you're constantly unstable because you're having to ride over horrible road conditions. My recommendation in those situations is to actually back off, create more distance so you're still able to see further, but then pick the best safest road conditions for you that are presented. So how I'm coming up to this, this slight curve, I was on the left hand side. I then was able to see all the way through it. I'm now also not hugging this, I'm not hugging the yellow line, but I'm up close enough to it that I am able to see past it. Cars are able to see me, but they are still able to pass safely. They are able to go past me safely without me having to be worried about ramming into them. If you feel like you need to, you're, you can also scoot over to the right hand side to be able to see farther. You're just running into a little bit more of a risk to where cars are not going to be able to see you. There's a give and take in all of this. The biggest thing is that you just need to be comfortable and find what feels like the best line possible for you. You just do not want to be staying in one line in a, one of the three positions the entire time. There are also much more than just three positions. You can think of it as more than just, I'm in the center, I am in the left, I am in the right. You can think of it as, I am finding whichever millimeter of the road is best for me. There are infinite lines that you can pick. Find what works best for you. With that, I am coming to an end of this video. I want to thank you all again for clicking on this video. If you liked it, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Helps me out a lot. Make sure you go ahead and keep on watching this learn how to ride video. That also helps a lot. And make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Make sure you go ahead and hit that bell notification so you know when the next video comes on out. And I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace.